Hodges with City Lights on Novus TV. Now, art is one of the few instances where people can look at the same thing but see something completely different. Painter David Wilson's latest exhibit, Lights and Color, uses familiar scenes to provoke emotion. You have beautiful tones in your painting, and actually, a lot of them look like they're they're wet. Why did you call this exhibit "Lights and Color"? Uh, well, light and color are both very basic components that, that one uses to create a painting, and uh, part of this exhibition was just reverting back to the the process of, of developing work. Does that show in your use of color, perhaps? I think so. I think there's a there's a boldness in the color that wasn't there before. It's just stepping out, trying something different, something new, and uh, expressing something perhaps that I'm not necessarily conscious of, but it's certainly there. So there are some very iconic Vancouver scenes in your paintings. Why did you pick those in particular? But I think it, it, it's it's mostly just because I live here and this is my experience, and uh, I think that there's just a commonality that, that the viewer shares with me and with the image. I noticed that there is the use of a lot of older model cars in your work. What is that symbolic of? Well, I like the old vehicles that people use on a sort of everyday basis. They're transportation, like they're not, they're not um, discarded cars. Um, they're not cars that are collectors that sit in, in garages that are, that are only driven on sunny Sundays. These are cars that people use on a, on a regular basis, and it's, 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 it's telling. You know, we live in a throwaway society where people get new phones every couple of years or new cars every couple of years, and uh, these, these vehicles, um, you know, they, they represent uh, a different part of society that's not necessarily interested in that. Now, I noticed a small detail in one of your paintings, Water to Ashes, and it's actually that on the license plate, youth is written backwards. Can you tell me a little bit about that choice? Sure. Well, that painting is, a, is largely about my father, who passed away uh, about a year and a half ago. He was a, a big, strong man who suddenly passed away from something called pulmonary fibrosis. And it was quite remarkable that he lived as long as he did with the condition that he was suffering with. And once he had passed away, we, we realized what had happened to him. And uh, I came across this old Thunderbird. Again, it's like one of these vehicles that has been around for a long time. Uh, it takes a lot of work to keep these things running. And so I painted this painting it's sort of in memory of my father, water to ashes, symbolic of our you know, the life cycle. And then uh, youth is referencing you know, just that society that we live in. It's youth oriented, which you know, I think it's great. I love youth, but it's not, it's not forever. And you're a self-taught painter, is that correct? Primarily, yeah. I studied Emily Carr a little bit, but for the most part I'm self-taught. Does that change the way you approach your art in any way? I don't know. I would think it might because I never went through the, you know, the graduate program at, at, uh, at university for fine arts. I think it's, you know, I, I was never a good student. So I chose not to go to school and I think it's worked out okay for me. David Wilson's Light and Color exhibit will be at the Komodo Gallery until October 10th. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Nicole Hodges.